Hi, I'm Mandy with Sugary Crafts and I showed you how to screen print using your craft cutter and lots of you said, well, how do we do two colors? Well, I'm here to show you that today. Yes, you can screen print with multiple colors. It's easier than you think. You're gonna need a screen. The screen is reusable. So you can get away with just one screen. I liked having two when I did a multiple color design, so it's up to you how many screens you would like for your project. We're using our vinyl cutter to make our stencil that we put on the screen. I highly recommend using permanent adhesive vinyl. That will make a difference and it will help it stick to your screen better. If you've never screen printed before using your vinyl cutting machine, you'll want to check out my other video. It goes into lots of detail about the step-by-step -step process. Today we're going to focus on using two colors and layering those colors. So some of the um, steps I'll assume that you already know how to do and then we'll just focus on the two colors. So the basic idea behind doing two colors and screen printing is layering. You are going to put on one layer of one color, let that dry, and then you'll put the second layer over it. Because you are doing two layers, you will be using two stencils. So when you're layering colors and screen printing, you'll need a stencil for each individual color. Here's a very important part. You will need registration marks that mark those stencils so that you will know exactly how they overlay on top of each other. You can just add extra little squares to your design. When you are doing this, make sure that your squares are pretty far away from your design. This is a mistake that I made, and as I drug the ink across my shirts when I was screen printing, it was um, hard to avoid those spots or hard to see where those spots should be. So I wish that my registration marks were lower in my design. When you're making your design, you want to add registration marks. These will help you line up your stencils so that they are able to layer exactly on top of each other. I also like having one at the top so that I can line up the center. Also, when you are designing your stencil, make sure that you have it reversed because we are going to put it on the back side of the screen. Then once you send it to your cutter, you want to cut in layers. You always want the red layer on, that's the registration marks. And then first we'll cut the underneath layer, and that's going to be the pink heart. You can see how it has the cut lines for the pink heart and the red squares. So you cut that stencil, and then you turn off the pink heart, and you turn on the black outlines. And so this time, it will cut the red squares with the black outlines, and that will be your second stencil. When you're considering what color to do first, think about how it builds onto your design. For my shirt, I wanted the heart to look like it had an outline on top and around it. So for me, the pink went first because it's underneath the outline line, which I wanted to go over the heart. When you are pulling your stencil, you want to pull out the design. So you want to pull out where the ink is going to go. I've also put a rectangle around my design to make sure that it is the same size for both colors. You can peel that. And we have put registration marks where we can line things up and you'll want to peel those out as well. This is the stencil that I'm going to use with pink ink. When I designed my cut, I put the registration mark directly in the center. And so I am going to mark the center of my screen so that I know where to line it up. If you're only using one screen, you'll want to put the stencil of your underlying color on first, screen print all of your tees with that, then let them dry, remove that stencil, and then put on the second stencil. If you have two screens, you can put one on each screen. That's what I will be doing. A video already that you want to check out where I do one single design and go through the basics of how to do that with the vinyl. So I'll move through those steps quickly here, but you're going to use transfer tape to transfer your design onto your screen. Remember we are going to put it on the back side of the screen, so it's inset on the front and then the back 
is even. And remember that this registration mark is centered and so I'm going to line it up with the center mark on my screen. When you remove the transfer tape, you are going to want to slide it down instead of pulling it straight up to help it not come off of your screen. And remember that you are to be using permanent vinyl because it sticks a little bit better and that will help if you're having trouble getting your vinyl to stick to your screen. Again, I'm using two screens, but you can use one screen and wash it off and then use the other. Here is my center. I'm going to center that here with my line that I drew. So as you can see, I have two stencils, one for one color and one for the other color. So get your t-shirt out. You're going to want something inside of it so that the ink doesn't bleed through just in case. You start with your base color, the color that is going to go in the underneath of good design. Now remember, we have registration marks here, here, and here. You're gonna to need to take some tape and put it where the registration mark is going to land. That way, when you drag ink over your design, it does not go on your shirt. Okay, so we've got all of our dots covered up. Next up, we're gonna use our ink. We're going to put it at the top and then we are going to drag it down. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the color along the top. We're gonna lift the screen up kind of like a hinge. If you have it up like a hinge, you can do a pre-drag across your screen and that way you can make sure that you get it covered before you have your t-shirt under it. So as you can see, the screen is all covered in ink. So we are going to go ahead and drop it onto the t-shirt. And then we will do the final pull across through the screen. And when you lift your screen, you'll be able to see your design colors in there and your registration marks that landed on the tape. At this point, you are going to let it dry and then you'll be ready for the next layer. Now that the first layer is dry, we can go ahead and put our second layer on. So as you can see, there are the registration marks here, here, and here. And we are going to line them up on the second layer here, here, and here. With the design, they were on both in the exact same spot. So right there is going to be where those registration marks go. Then as we put this black over, you'll be able to see it layered on top of the pink. So we've got the dots lined up. Next up, I'm going to hinge it up just a little bit to apply the paint on the first go around. There you go. As you can see, once you know how to do screen printing in a single color, you can step up your game and try adding in that second color. Likewise, you could do multiple colors, just layering each time. This is what happens when your dots are not lined up. You can see how everything shifted down and missed a little bit of the stencil. There is a bit of a learning curve making sure that you line up those registration marks. I'm Mandy with Sugary Crafts. I'd love it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of the upcoming awesome crafty tutorials that I have coming your way.